hello everyone welcome to my new video on youtube so in this video we are going to see to talk about my first lesson on grammar french grammar so we are going to begin with the two main articles in french and we say this in french like les deux principaux articles in the first in the first part we are going to see the indefinite article l'article indéfini in the second part the definite article, l'article défini, and we will finish with some exercises, and it will be mainly translation. Ready? Let's go. So, the first one, l'article indéfini. So, let's see a definition. So, an indefinite article is a small word used before a noun to introduce it. This word is used to refer to a person or a thing which is not specified. So we have to remember that we use an article for something which is not specified. Okay? So in French, we have three indefinite articles. We have un, une, des. The first one, un. So un, it is used for masculine words and une is used for feminine words the equivalent of these both articles are e and n in english and then we have de so de is masculine and feminine we have no equivalent word for this in french in english sorry and it can it can but it can be replaced by some and it is mainly used for plural mode so only plural Now, let's talk about the definite article. In French, l'article défini. As we said for the first part, there is a definition. An indefinite article is a small word used before a noun to introdu introduce it. This word is used to refer to a person or a thing which is specified. So, in the first one, l'article indéfini, we have seen that it is not specified, but now, for a definite article, it is specified. So for definite article, we have four. It is le, la, les, and l apostrophe. So after the l, we call this this small uh, symbol apostrophe. Le and la are the equivalent for the in English so you, we use le for masculine words and la for feminine words then you have les so we use this one for masculine and feminine words and the equivalent is still de and then to finish we have l apostrophe so we use this for masculine and feminine words the equivalent is de as well and please use this word before a noun which begins with a voyeur a e i o u y and we have also the letter h so if you have a word which begin with these letters you have to use l apostrophe okay now some example of what we have seen un pull vert will be a green sweater une fenêtre ouverte, an open window. Des pantalons rouges, red trousers. Le pull vert, the green sweater. La fenêtre ouverte, the open window. Les pantalons rouges, the red trousers. So, on the left, is it indefinite? And on the right, it is definite. And the last one, l'oiseau vole. The bird is flying. So we used L apostrophe because as you can see, after, as you can see, this word begins with O and O is a vowel. Okay. Now to finish some exercises. So it is translation. Let's begin with this one. A carrot is orange. How do you say this in French? We say, une carotte est orange. 
okay second one how do we say in French a nice hat a nice hat in French is un beau chapeau third one I want to eat fruits in French it will be je veux manger des fruits then the baker makes bread in French is le boulanger fait du pain five the girl is sad in French is la fille est triste the vegetables are good in French is les légumes sont bons and the last one the orange is also also a fruit l'orange est aussi un fruit my video is finished thank you for watching see you soon for our next video thank you very much goodbye